The 53rd winter camp for the whole family concluded with the fourth camp this week. This week, believers from all over the country gathered at the Gimshan Retreat Center and the Gangnoon Retreat Center, and the believers said that they attended the camp in hopes of seeing changes. The camp, which lasted for four days and three nights, included early morning and morning sermons, afternoon group pottery, academy, and evening worship. It was filled with fruitful programs, especially the reading discussion program. At the Gangnoon Camp, Pastor Park Young Jun of Good News Incheon Church and at Dediok Camp, Pastor Park Ok Su, founder of Good News Mission, spoke as the main speaker. In particular, Pastor Ok Su Park preached every hour through the Bible for the heart of God who has justified us. We hope that the believers who gained strength through the Word in the 53rd Winter Camp, which lasted for four weeks, will join us in the powerful work in the first half of this year. To mark the winter vacation, Sunday schools at each local at churches hosted vacation programs for children. Siobu Mountain Sunday School held a character camp on the 14th to provide mind recreation for children and parents, and Incheon School held a children's Chinese camp from the 15th to the 17th for children from Chinese multicultural families. At Guangmyung Church, a character etiquette camp was held on the 18th under the title Super Self-Control Kids Camp, and various programs were operated to develop self-control. On the 18th and 19th, a kids' camp was held at Suzyon Church, and Sunday school children invited their friends to join the camp. Through the camp, children were able to not only receive mind education, but also heard gospel and learn about God. Kids' camps and Sunday school events held throughout the country provided an opportunity for children to feel the love of Jesus. Good News Incheon Church had a joint worship service in the Gyeonjin region led by Pastor Ok Su Park on the 14th. The Grouch's choir honored the Lord with colorful hymns. On that day, Pastor Ok Su Park preached that when our hearts are united with Jesus, the power of Jesus can live and work within us. Through his New Year's messages, believers in the Gyeonjin area expressed their expectations for God's amazing grace this year. The 30th Japan Winter Camp was held in Osaka for four days and three nights from January 11th to 15th. Church members from all over Japan gathered together to watch the performances prepared by each other with joy, and new people attended the gospel class and heard the gospel. As the main speaker, Pastor Hak Kiel Kim of Thailand's Good News Bangkok Church delivered a sermon and said that Japanese church members could look forward to the work of gospel continuing in Japan this year. On January 14, the IYF, Uganda Volunteer Graduation Ceremony was held at Good News Kampala Church. On December 30, before the Passover festival, a launching ceremony for the 300 IYF, Uganda Volunteers was held with Honorable Godfrey Kabianga, the State Minister of National Guidance, and volunteers participated in various departments during the event. Even after Passover festival, more than 120 volunteers are attending Kampala Church's Sunday service. The IYF, Uganda branch announced that it plans to conduct a short-term training program in 2024 to send many volunteers overseas and prepare various activities domestically.